Hey guys, Dark Horse Talking on FPV, and it is getting late into the night. It's about 10 p.m. now on uh, Tuesday. Uh, what is it, to the 8th, I think, of December? So yeah, we're about 17, away, 17 days away from Christmas, which has nothing to do with what I'm about to do. So I'm getting ready to do a... It's probably the hardest soldering job I've done. I remember doing this before, and it was exhausting. But I promised the customer I was going to do it, and I like the challenge. Uh, and uh, so we're going to knock it out. So I'm going to try. We're going to be doing the uh, replacement of the UFL on the Cadex Vista. Now the one's broken and we're going to try to replace it. So here goes. This is brutal, by the way. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that it is the hardest one I've done. Uh, when it comes to soldering, I really, I like to think that I know what I'm doing. Uh, let me make sure my table is lined up centered here on the camera. And I pretty much, I feel like I know what I'm doing. I'm self-taught on it, but heck, you know, I, I think I know what I'm doing. So anyways, in either case though, uh, with all that I've done, this still, it remains the hardest job, the hardest solder job I've done. Uh, and I decided to agree to do another one. So I guess I like the um, torture. So anyways, let me clean this up a little bit. Uh, and I'll be probably getting up here from time to time because I've got to get all the parts, but I want to get started because I did promise that it would be done tonight. Now let me straighten out my camera a little bit. I think that's, yeah, that's better. All right, let's go ahead and cut this box open. I haven't even had a chance to clean my desk yet. I'm just so ready to knock this out and go through the pain. All right, so here we go. So there's a few things I'm going to show you. I'm trying to get set up for this so you can understand why it's so difficult, or at least what makes it somewhat difficult. And I'm going to try to get geared up with the right soldering uh, supplies. So I'm going to remove this tip here. Okay. And I cannot remember where I have. I have a super, super fine soldering tip somewhere. I've got to find out where I put it. I may have hung it up here, so let me just see. What's this? Is any of this it? Great. All right, one second. Let's see. Does this have it? I think so. Nah, we're going to go with something like this one. This is this will make you bleed. That one, not so much. This one, oh, this one for sure. This one's the sharpest tip. You can see that right there. I mean, like the point on this thing is ridiculous. All right, so I'm going to leave this one out, uh, this one out, maybe that one. I'll put these two away. But that doesn't go in there. That goes in here. My bad. Okay, so let's get this set up. This one is our old one. We'll leave that there. Let's start. Ooh, that's a good one. Right, let's do that. I also like to say what's up to my boys, Ashton. Landon and Jaden, I love y'all very much. We are waiting for y'all to come back on Thursday, and we're going to have some awesome fun. All right? So just thought I'd throw that out there, let you know how much you are missed. Okay, so put this one back, and we'll leave these ones here. I'll put the one here, and they've got these little holders on my mat. You can't see it, I guess. I thought you could. Let me see if you can see it now. Uh, no, here, I'll zoom out just a little bit. This is a new mat that I just got in, and I'm trying it out. See these little dots all along here? These hold there, all those little pieces. And they also, it also reveals all the actual mess that's sitting on my bench. All right, so let me get my Nerd Magoo glasses. They're right here. We're going to need to go to five times a magnification on it. So let me get the Magoo magnifying pieces which are somewhere in this vicinity. And right now I have no idea where that might be. So we'll deal with it when the time comes. Okay, uh, we got our, we're gonna test the continuity. We're gonna need to do that. So let me go ahead and get this put away for now. We're gonna need a flux pen. And I'm almost out of flux. So let me, I'll borrow another one here. Okay. All right, now what am I doing? Put the razor blade away. Got the Magoo glasses. Got another uh, knife here. I don't need that, excuse me. All right, so let's go to the magnify real quick so I can show you what we're working with. Ooh, this is brutal. I hope this is fixable. I'm gonna find out. So I'm gonna share the computer screen with you here in just a second. There we go.
Okay, it's a little blurry, but let me focus, focus, focus. Oh, boy, this thing's gone to crap. Oh. Huh. Thanks. Okay. There is the heap of mess that we have. Now, crap. Like, this sucks. This isn't going to be easy. All right. <clears throat> let's do, let's start with continuity. Just to see where we're at. This thing, I mean, again, no joke. I hope it's fixable, but let's just see. All right. So, we know that the, okay, that's our ground. Why? I said I just got all ripped up, didn't it? I know. So, if I'm not mistaken. And if, I believe it should be now too, right? So let me, let me do a continuity test from here, from this pad, and to here. No, nope, here. Yep, here. Okay. So we have ground. Ground, but the middle one should not beep. And that is where the other piece goes. And what you can see here is that it's broken. Okay, so this is what happened before. This sucks. I wish there was a better way to say it. So this ripped off, and what it did is it pulled the line that connects here. Now, here's your ground, okay? And you can touch anything. I'm touching the USB port right now. Um, let me see if I can give you a, a bigger picture so that you can see everything that's going on. I don't know how much I can fit under this microscope, but let's just see. So what we have is we have the area where it broke off, right? And right, oh, excuse me, those are my sons. That's one of them, and I would like to probably tell them good night. So if you give me a second, please. That's my boy right there. Hey, Ashton, I love you. And uh, let me tell them good night. Good night, bud. Okay, that's my boy. This sucks because I. No, I don't get to see him right now. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's just get back to work. Okay. All right. So, um, so we have the ground. Okay. And uh, so if I touch the ground and I touch the USB, you can see me touch the USB here. We can verify that's ground, right? And then if I, uh, if I touch the ground here, and I touch here, you can see it's ground. But if I go to the middle, right, then I, then I, then I don't have the, I have no continuity there, okay? So we need to fix that. And to do that, we're going to have to get a UFL connector. And we're going to have to solder directly uh, to the spot. So I'm going to go grab one real quick, okay? thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to prepare so let me turn the soldering iron on and it's going to get super hot because uh, the the difficulty here is to make the connection quick enough it's not an easy connection to make right and and you will start eating away at whatever remaining things you have here so let me go ahead and open the UFL I have a bunch of them here okay Alright. 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Just, I miss my boy. I miss my boys right now. So, a little, a little tough sometimes when I start missing them. But we gotta work. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this UFL out here. Try to do it without damaging it. Here, so you can see where it is. It's in these pouches here, right? Because the machines that do this remove these automatically and then place them on the board. So we have to do what a machine does, but uh, <laughs> try not to screw it up at the same time. All right. Trying to peel this stuff back without damaging the UFL. I'm just trying to be very careful about it, but it's not working as quickly as good as I thought. All right. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to take longer to get this out of the package than it will to put it on. Just kidding. I'm not that lucky. Ooh, there it goes. It just flew all over the place. Okay. Here it is. I'm going to put it on top of the thing. So you see it right there. Okay. Now I'm going to try this new device that I was sent. I'm going to see if this works with UFLs. I don't know if it does or doesn't, so bear with me. We'll find out, but i got to find it real quick, so hold on one second here. Let's see. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. Okay. Time to put on the Magoo glasses. to work. I would really like for this piece to work. I'm trying to figure out how to make that happen. So let's see. It's not going to happen. Let me put this on the table. Maybe I can do it this way. Let's see if I can get this under. Here. That light is bright, I know. There you go. Nope. Guess I'm kind of out of luck on using this little suction device. Hopefully, I was hoping it was going to work, but I can't get a solid grip on it. All right, let's not waste any time then. We will use the new tweezers that we have at least. These should be amazing. So, since they're going to self-clamp, at least I don't have to worry about that. Now, whether or not this thing flies out of my hands, that's a different story. Okay. So, what we have to do is, we need to get... We need to test the continuity here so I can explain to you what we're about to do. All right, so let me leave these tweezers. Let's see if I can get them to balance like that. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find the ground and find out what attaches to the ground here. So this is your positive, this is your ground. These two are the same, this isn't, okay? This is what's gonna be aimed up. And I will tell you, I made sure to make, <laughs> to make note of it this time because the first time I did this, I did not do that. And what's confusing is if you look at a UFL connector, from the top, it looks like it's both sides have that, you know, the same thing. But you have to turn it over. Once you turn it over, you can see that only one side has that center line that goes up. That's your positive, okay? That center line has to aim up, and this has to sit just like that, okay? And the best part is I have to solder a wire that is going to go. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is really a pain in the butt to do. If you get it, I mean, there's no guarantee. You have to solder a wire that goes from that piece. Let me focus here. To that middle line. Oh, this thing's gonna move. Let me see if I can get it to stay still. Right there. From that tip of that there to that middle line right there. And not touch anything else. Okay? So let's get started with what is still probably the hardest soldering 
I'm going to do. And I know I've burned, what, about 15 minutes of your time. Sorry, but hey, that's the price you pay to watch this boring stuff. All right, so I'm going to put the UFL here. And now I'm going to remove the tray, the, the, the side of the top here. So bear with me as I unscrew these things. Here, I'll give you a view, lets you see both. Okay, while I'm unscrewing these, so I can see the board fully. This wonderful goop. Okay, so here's what we're working with. And now it's time to apply some serious flux here and try to make sure that we don't screw this up. Okay, excellent. There's that. Now we have to find a wire. Um, so this is where it gets interesting because I've got to find something that will not be too much. That's going to, I think, be too much, actually. Um, but I'm willing to give it a shot, so let me see. The other option is to actually grab a wire, which is what I did before. And so I took a wire, and I'll show you. So you take a wire. Let me put the top of this caddx over here so I don't screw this up. There. So what you do... Right, is you take a wire, something super thin like these here, okay, and you cut it, and then you literally tin the whole wire exposed, okay. So, to give you an idea of what that's like. I'll put um, this here. You would take the wire, you take your strands. Okay, now you could wind them if you can make them small enough, but if you can't, then you actually pull them out strand by strand. All right, now I'm gonna find out this is small enough by placing this right here, and I think I can get away with it. It's gonna be close, but I think I can get away with it. So here's what we're gonna do. We have our UFL connector, which is right here, okay? And we're going to zoom in real close to it. And we're going to take this light out if we can. There. Now you can see it. I'll cover it with my hands. Now you can see it, right? So it's all this excess light that's causing that glare to appear. So let me see if I can block that for you guys somehow. There, that's a little bit better, right? Okay, so we need to apply the flux paste here as well. And here's the kicker. We have to tin this wire, which I showed you earlier. All right, so here's the wire that we're tinning. Okay. And so... Sorry, I have to remove that now, so you know it's going to be a little bit of a glare. So let's go ahead. Here's the wire. Let's tin that up. And then, and then, all right, now we're going to bring in the soldering tip here. Oh, wow, here's another soldering tip. It's really good. I just found that. Oops. So let me get my soldering iron ready. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the solder. Let me show you what this is going to look like, okay? Normally would not do it on this rubber pad, but I want you to be able to see it. All right, so here's the wire. And now as we wipe this off, okay, we're going to literally like scrape the solder down the wire. All we're trying to do is 
tin the wire to where it's almost like a solid piece, right? There, okay? Now, we're gonna see how well that comes out once I roll this, I'm gonna feel it here, okay? It's okay, I don't think it's too bad. Let me focus, yeah, that's all right. Now let's put it up against the UFL connector. All right, and if we line that up, I think we're perfect. Oh, uh, that's perfect. I think that'll be great. Okay, now, the thing about the UFL is, here's where I screwed up, and I'll probably do it again tonight. Um, it sticks to the soldering iron instantly. Like, you'll just melt through it in two seconds. It's, it sucks, right? So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to use solder paste. This I've not used solder paste for this kind of a thing before, but I feel like giving it a shot and see if it works. So here's the solder paste. There's a syringe. So here's a syringe needle. You should see that in the camera there in just a second, right? So just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, I showed this before. So this is a solder paste right now. I think that might be the smallest gauge I have for the needle or for the cut needle, whatever it is. But let me just check. Yeah, that's going to be, I think, the smallest. So uh, I'm going to get a new one right here. Okay, I'm going to take this one off. Throw that out. I'm going to put the new one on. I'm going to hope this is going to work. So let's get back to our screen. There we go. Okay. So with the tweezers ready to hold this in place, I hope. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just put some solder paste, like a drop. I'll try to make it a drop. It's not very easy to get just one drop, but we're going to try our best. And so far, we're not doing very good. Hold on. Wait, to, I'm, I'm going to just see if I can push some of the solder paste out real quick. Okay. This is actually a finer uh, needle than I thought. Okay, don't want that on there. It's not wall of solder paste. That's what I want right there. Just that little, just that right there. Perfect. Okay, now somehow I need to turn this around. I need to place. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is where it gets tricky because I need everything to kind of sit still. So I need another. I need another. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to try to lay it through the tweezers, if I can. Okay, so I'm going to just try to lay it through the tweezers. I'm going to try to lay it right on top of there <sighs> without screwing this up. Okay, so let's, let's craft another tweezers here. Pull this wire through. Okay. Sorry, I know that was kind of getting hard to see, but just bear with me. It's, I think half of this is really difficult to be trying to record it, because really I'm working under a microscope where I don't really want to be working, but if this will help somebody maybe down the road, then it's worth it, right? All right, so I need to just place this piece on there, and literally it's just got to touch for a second while I get soldering iron. So this is where I need it, right there. I need to just keep it right there. Get it somewhat. Somewhat. Crest right here. I'm not worried about the excess solder moving because that's why we put the flux on here. So let me just, there, that's what I need right there. So now I need to, I 
Oh my god, this is what I need. Can't see you. Hold on. My apologies. I was sitting here looking at that and I totally forgot that I need to put my goggles on so I don't see. Mm -hmm. All right, I found my five zoom lenses. Let's use those. Let me clean them real quickly. these suckers you guys I sell these these are amazing especially if you're gonna be soldering so plan on investing in some if that's what you're gonna be doing all right now I'm gonna get all up in this thing now because I can't see there we go Okay, there's our UFL again, and right now the solder paste has kind of been spread all over the place, so it's going to try to actually let me get my uh, flux pen real quick. Three inches for wash this. Okay. There. Let's get the wire. And I think we got it. So, there you go. We now have a very solid connection. All right, not bad. And actually, once we got it lined up, it went a lot better. All right now, these are my good glasses. I can't see anything. So now I have to take them off to try to find out where the hell I put everything else. <sighs> All right. Now, that's not the hard part though, but that is one of the hard parts is not the hardest part. Now what we have to do, all right, so let's get our setup back. Okay, let's raise this up a little bit so you guys can see kind of more what we're working with. Okay. Wow, this is really messed up. All right, so first thing, first thing we're gonna wanna do we're going to want to make sure, again, that we have all our flux paste in place. And somehow we have got to solder that little piece there. And that is going to be a pain. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a needle, like a regular, like, um, I don't know what these are called. They're called, I think these are called push pin needles, right? These little needles with the little color uh, ball on the end there. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna put flux paste, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put solder paste on the little needle now, right? So I'm just gonna put that needle in the syringe like this. Let me see if I can show you guys. Like this, okay? And I'm just gonna get what I can out of there and I'm gonna put it right on that copper. I'm gonna try. Okay, 
And now I'm going to try to hit that with the solder. Try to get it to bond. Only the middle piece. And I think we just did it. Okay. Now, I'm going to take an alcohol wipe <coughs> and remove the rest. Because what I don't want is to bridge the positive to the ground. So I'm going to come in with an alcohol wipe. And I'm just going to clean up whatever is here. Okay? And from the looks of it, and you guys, I'll zoom down now so you guys can see what we're working with. Let's focus on that. And you see, there's my one drop of solder. I think the five is a little too much. Let's try a four. Use a four for this part. Oh yeah, that's better. Um, okay, so you can see here, right? Let me show you. You can see the solder here. Now we want to make sure there's no solder paste here either. I'm just going to kind of clean up. Take the rag, put on the end of the uh, tweezers here. Just kind of get up in there and just softly just rub the excess uh, solder paste off. And there you go. You now have that piece of solder is going to be your link to make this work. Okay. Now, the next thing we have is we have to make sure that we are prepared to solder to the pads and ground as well. Right. So we're going to raise this back up now. Okay. There you go. All right. Now, here's our UFL connector. And now that it is on a piece of wire, I can kind of move it easier. All right. And this wire that it's attached to is going to basically, let me see if I can turn this a little bit. So it's going to go on like this here. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm just going to turn that wire just enough to where it touches that solder piece. And that's it. All right. So I'm going to clean off the UFL. It still has solder paste on it, so I need to clean that off. So let me show you what I'm doing here. And again, I know this is taking a while, but it is a, it takes a while. I mean, it's just, it's a, I like to always do things that are difficult like this because it allows me to practice and make sure that I don't forget and you know, I don't lose a skill. Uh, everybody gets lazy. I don't want to get lazy. Right, so I got to clean off this excess here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other push pin needle and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of run on the edge here, scrape off uh, the excess solder paste that it was just put on. Only it was it only got applied here because I was uh, trying to grab this with the tweezers and so it got on the tweezers and then got on here. All right. That looks good. All right, now we have to apply something to the bottom here so that this will solder. Right? So we need to stick to the board. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our needle again, the same one we used to apply last time. We're going to put a little bit on there. I'm so worried it's gonna go flying out. So hold on. Let me just do this off the camera so I can at least put it in a position where I can get it. There it is. Okay. So I'm gonna just dab a little bit on there. On each side. Okay. Just like that. It doesn't take much of this stuff, okay? That's actually a little too much in me. Just like that. There you go. Just like that. Now, I got some on the little rubber pieces here, so I want to get that off because I don't want to accidentally get any of this stuff on anything. It doesn't need to be soldered. Okay. So now here's our 
back to our we'll put the UFL down for a second back to our board here and I'm going to try to come in here put a little bit more on these pieces okay here we go there's should be some right here there we go there should be some right here there we go I'm going to get even out a little bit right there okay now now it's time to please clean our soldering kit. Make sure it is perfectly clean because you cannot afford to have debris on this thing. And you have to be extremely accurate at this point, okay? This is not the thinnest tip I've got to do this, so I'm, I'm wondering if I should change, but right now I think I'm kind of committed to this. So I'm gonna turn this way because I'm right-handed, so I need to come in this direction in order to get this done properly, or hope to get it done properly. And I need to get my tweezers, so bear with me. All right, here we go. Thankfully, because the wire's on there, I should be able to grip this pretty easy. Let me see. Okay, now I'm gonna come in like this. I'm gonna try to keep everything on camera for you guys, okay? So let me just kinda try my best to come in and put this down where it needs to go. Ah, it's hitting the uh, microscope. So bear with me. Let me, uh, let me clean some of this up real quick. On the edges here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to take a very, if I have it, a very sharp pair of tweezers at this point to hold this sucker down once I get it in place. Kind of like that right there. The problem is it's at the wrong hand, so I need to be able to switch over. think that will work. Let's give it a shot. Oh, darn it, sorry guys. To make sure now that darn I'm trying to get this on camera and making sure I don't get the positive wire with any stuff on the underneath it. It's my fault, but definitely it's a task. See if this will work. Okay, that side's on. Let's try to get this side on. Okay, let's try to get the bottom on. We now have soldered our UFL on. Uh, I am going to put just a tad bit more solder paste in those areas, but this has gone on pretty well. So watch now what I'm going to do. I'm going to just come in here. I'm just going to put a little bit more because right, I want that to make a pretty strong bond right there. 
We'll do another one right here. We'll do another one right here. Okay. So let's get ready to come back in with our, our solder iron super hot right now. So we should be able to get this perfect. And then let's go here. Perfect. And then let's just touch this one on this side. Okay. Oh, that's on there very good. Okay. So now that we've done that, what we have to do now is we have to take our wire that we created and we need to make sure that we can solder it to that blob wherever it went. I have to find it now. Okay, so the solder blob <laughs> is that very, very, very tiny piece of solder right there. Okay. And so to do that, we need a very small wire. And that's the wire right there. So I'm going to cut the excess here. <sighs> okay, so now we're down to this part. And that's still going to be way big. to this and see what I've got left. I can't see it. Now I need my glasses. Alright, what are we looking at here? Oh, that's much better. Uh-huh. So we're overshooting this by a bit, but let me just see something. question here is, this piece here, and I cannot remember, but I cannot tell, I believe, this is all part of the same thing. Let's do a continuity test. So I need you to cross your fingers that you hear a beep, because I need to hear a damn beep to make sure I'm on the right track here. So here's one, here's the other. Oh, it's not helping me. There we go. We need to move that out of the way. Okay. So what that's telling me, I believe, is that I can take this wire. Still need to probably cut some of it down. I can take this wire. And I can drop it right here. I should be out of the ground area. Yep. Time to do this part and hope for the best here. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to get this soldered onto anything else. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna to have to lift this up because I am not comfortable with how much is left. And I made these saw I made these uh 
tweezers. I modified them. See these little groupies? I turn. I bent the needles in. The tips in, so I could just grab. So I want to grab because I want to get rid of this excess here without ripping this UFL off. So let me now come in with some fine cutters and cut this excess off if possible. All right, now let's see what we got. That's going to fit perfectly. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Here it goes. I'm not sure our wire went there, so let's see. Let's see what happened to our wire. Because it almost disintegrated, it seemed. Question is, did we get a link or not? Okay, so to find out for sure, I have to raise this back up. Focus so you guys can see. And I need to do a continuity test. I don't think it I don't think it made connection yet, but I think we're close, so so let's test the negative. Ground is good. There. Ground is good there. Positive. Positive is not good. So we did not get it yet. I think what it did is it curled up right here. So let's see if we get that back down a little bit. There it is. Now that may make it. So let's see what we got now. Let's take our ground. Positive. Look at that. So let, check this out, guys. <laughs> Look, we did it. Look. So we have our, I am saying positive and ground, but just follow me here. So we're going to call the center pin our positive, okay? So we have our positive, which is right there, okay? And that can only activate from the center. If anything else makes it activate, then you've made a mistake. So let's touch the center, and let's touch it. And there we go. Now to make sure it's on the board, sorry, I know that cable was in the way. Damn cables, hold on. Okay, so let's look at this again. Let me get my goofy glasses off. I'll do this with my glasses. All right, let's focus. There we go. I guess that's focused. Okay. So what we're doing is we're looking here, touching the center, and then we're going to touch the positive here, and it's good. And we're going to touch it here on the board, late into the board, so like after our solder point, right? There we go. But when we're touching the ground. We have nothing. But if we touch the copper up here, we have it. But if we touch the center, we don't. So there's no continuity there. And then we touch the ground here, we've got it. And if we touch this one, we've got it. But we don't have, we, we manage to not, we manage to keep this little piece of solder. There's our positive. That's our ground. That's why you're hearing that. Here's our positive. Here's our ground. We managed to keep this and use a different pointer. Use this pointer here. So we managed to keep this piece of solder here from touching this copper line here. Even though it's super close and it looks like it might touch, it's not. So we have effectively put this UFL successfully back on. And that's it. Nice work. So I'm very excited about that because it may not seem like it's difficult, but I promise you of the soldering, it is the hardest thing I've had to solder. Now what I'm going to try to do without screwing this up is I'm going to try to put just, you know what, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I 
I need to talk to the customer about that because I would rather put an antenna on here now and permanently seal this thing on. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can write the customer, but for right now, at the very least, we can put the top back on. Okay, so let's zoom out as much as we can. Let's go ahead. Top back on. All right. Put this on right here. And I believe we have a successful job all done. screws in here real quick. So bear with me a second. Actually I can take this off of the microscope for right now. So let's just get back to work here. Let's go put the screws back in like I was saying. There's our UFL. And everything is good. And I have this extra screw, this black one that he used. It does not go with this, but for right now, if that's all there is, then that's all there is. That's just a really not a good idea, but heck, <coughs> we'll figure something out. In either case, okay. So, guys, there you go. Okay, UFL's been repaired. This, this is tough to do. Um, but I hope that helps if any of you guys want to try it or want to try practicing UFL soldering or any other kind of fine soldering. I've got all the soldering irons, all the soldering tips, the flux paste, the solder paste, everything you need, okay? So just let me know. Uh, we've got it all on our website under soldering supplies. Other than that, uh, I just want to say again, good night to my boys. Uh, we'll see you in a couple days, guys. Uh, and to the rest of you guys, if you have any questions, please go to our Facebook group right there. See it on the bottom of your screen right here. And then please... Follow us on Facebook. See that at the top right there. But most important as well, please, 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 please subscribe. Subscribe, okay? Um, it is something that I have enjoyed doing and showing my sons is that we have a growing group of people following or subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, they know more about that stuff than I do. All I know is that when I tell them we got a new subscriber or we've hit a milestone on subscribers, they're flipping out and excited. And if that's if that's what I get to share with them when they're not here, then hey, it's worth it. So please, for the very least, just do that for me. I really appreciate it. Other than that, uh, God bless. Be safe. Sorry. Uh, so just, just, just. God bless, be safe, and go spend time with your family. I wish I could do that with mine right now. Uh, you've always got time to fly, guys, okay? So go make the most of it with your family. You never know how long you have left. So make the most of it, okay? We'll see you soon. Bye.